You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. Sunny 93.3, time now for The John and Heidi Show. Bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris. Hey, Dan. Hey, morning, guys. How's how's Heidi? Fantastic. How's, and how's Dan? I'm pretty pretty darn good. It's another another day in paradise, man. Kicking around the prairie, looking for truth, looking for answers. Yes. And doing what we do. Hey, uh, quick Sunday ninety three three military moment brought to you by ABN Army Surplus and Tactical Gear. Salute to Private First Class Jacob Simon out of Brookings, South Dakota. Just been promoted to the rank of specialist. Nice. Aww. South Dakota Army National Guards Forward Support Company First Battalion, one hundred forty seventh Field Artillery. Which my, my friend Corey Knight used to head up. He was he was with that that group for about 27, 28 years. So. That is awesome. We salute you. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Private first class Simon. In his civilian life, he kicks around his maintenance at SDSU. So if you see Jacob Simon, tell him thanks for his service. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Buy him, uh, buy him a little, little something to drink. Walk his cat, sing him a song, whatever. Walk his <laughs> walk cat. His cat. I don't know if somebody wanted Cats to walk like my to cat, walk. I'd go. Sure, that'd be great. But I don't have a cat. But I you don't. Can still walk him. You know, and I don't know you, but still, <laughs> throw the offer out there. ABN Army Surplus. Big thanks to the folks down yeah, there as good well. Friends over there doing uh, great things on uh, camping gear right now. This time yeah. of year. So if you're a camper and you've been be a survivalist, man, drop by ABN. It's the good stuff at great prices. You'll find them right by the Premier Center. Uh, Western and Legion Drive. Good place to go. Yeah. Thanks for listening to Sunny 93.3. Do you have a credit card? Is it the very best credit card? Many people get their credit card as a response to an offer that was mailed to you. These are typically not the best cards. Check the fine print for the fees and interest. We have a website that compares many different cards being offered so you can find the one that's the best fit for you. If you'd like to find a better credit card, we'd love to help at bettercreditcards.net. There's no obligation. Just click and compare to see if we can get you a better credit card at bettercreditcards.net. Sunny 93.3 time now for Ranger Dan's Critter Corner. Well, I'm rough, tough, and ready. I'm a heck of a man. Eat my beans and weenies from a frying pan. He's Ranger Dan. Yes, sir. I'm Ranger Dan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to poke bears and lasso ducks and kill them possums in my government truck. He's Ranger Dan! He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. <laughs> well, I loves all the critters and the campers, too, but if you're wearing Crocs, I'm coming after you. He's Ranger Dan! He's here. I'm Ranger Dan. Good morning, Ranger Dan! Hey, Ranger Dan! Hey, little radio rangers, you little scamps, you, you little criminals, you little tax write-offs. <laughs> 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 Dan, time to lay a little critter knowledge on you. You know, it wasn't that long ago, and believe it or not, although I spend the majority of my time and traipsing, traipsing through the valleys and the hills and the swamplands and the woods and the prairie grass, I do have a house right here in the city that <laughs> I visit on occasion. And uh, it wasn't long ago, I looked out in my backyard, and there was a great big raccoon. No kidding. Okay. Right in the heart of the city. Wow. It's not unusual. In fact, a lot of raccoons prefer living in the city. In fact, the city of Toronto, Canada is teeming with raccoons. A 10% raccoon? Well, they are scavengers, and they are drawn to dumpsters and garbage cans. And yeah. it's not unusual to see raccoons walking down the main drags of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. They probably followed all too. those coyotes into town. That's a fact, Jack. <laughs> raccoons are also pretty fast. You know, they can run it up to 15 miles an hour. Can they really? really? And that includes up and down trees. They are quick. Wow. Yeah. They're quick. They're also nocturnal. In other words, they come out at night. Yeah. If you see a raccoon during the day, it's probably, probably got rabies. A, yeah. So it's, uh, you know, you're more than welcome to invite it in your house, but it's probably a bad, bad idea <laughs> because they will come right in, probably rifle the medicine chest. <laughs> then you got problems. But here's the big deal. Here is the big deal. Raccoons, unlike a lot of other animals in, in our woodlands here, they do not have life partners. Here's really? how that, unlike wolves, uh, beavers, uh, Orthodox Catholics, they do not mate for life. <laughs> raccoons often have more than one mating partner. In fact, male raccoons attempt to mate with multiple females. They really, really don't care. So here's okay. the thing. If you're a female and you're hiking, you're camping, you're just out enjoying nature, and you hear, hey, looking <laughs> good, baby. How about you and me get treed? Get treed. Odds are pretty good that's a raccoon. Do not make eye contact. Just... <laughs> Keep moving, or the next thing you know, you're part of the whole Me Too movement. <laughs> I'm a Ranger Dan. Kids, 
<laughs> hey, in school, go to church, say your prayers, don't play soccer, don't wear Crocs, or um, I'm coming for you. Ranger Dan, out! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger Dan's Critter Corner on Sunny 93.3. The inventor of Rippet Gloves has been a drywall guy for decades. He was trying to find gloves that worked for him and his crew, but nothing was quite right. So he went out and created some. Rippet Gloves fit firm in your hand and protect your hands, but still allow you to use a touch screen. Professional athletes love the extra grip Rippet Gloves gives them. Painters, roofers, contractors, but also motor motorcycle and horseback riders. See why everyone loves Rippet Gloves at rippetgloves.com. Use promo code radio to save 25%. That's R I P I T gloves.com promo code radio. Sunny 93.3 time now for water cooler talk brought to you by Aqua 1 and Mr. Dan Ferris joining us in the studio again. Dan, what kind of cool stuff are we going to learn about Ooh, here today? This is pretty big. In fact, this just made uh, national news out of the Associated Press and keep in mind although I am a highly paid uh, investigative reporter, I have never won an award, nor should I. <laughs> <laughs> nor should I. From the Associated Press, Dateline, Rapid City, South Dakota, the national motto, In God We Trust, has now been applied, painted, prominently displayed on the walls of 23 public school buildings Beautiful. in Rapid City, South Dakota. Beautiful. In case you don't know, that is in keeping with the brand new state law that requires that motto be displayed on public school grounds in prominent locations, including cafeterias, commons areas, and entryways. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Yeah. And there is some hubbubbery, if you recall, it was a few months ago, uh, that a group of uh, students from Stevens High School over in Rapid asked the school board to display an alternate version of the motto that they designed that included... Other, well, higher powers, for lack of a better word, including Buddha, Allah. And this was kind of confusing. Yahweh. I mean, Yahweh, is, that's just yeah, the yeah, Hebrew just version of, of God, God, really, biblical yeah. speaking. And I love this saying. Yahweh or the highway? <laughs> I'm going to tattoo that possibly, possibly in my nether regions. <laughs> Anyway, that's what's going on. I don't know if that has gotten to the Sioux Falls uh, school district yet or know. not. But I've not seen it anywhere. But I don't know, but it's beautiful. I, I don't it. hang out at school, so I wouldn't know. I fully expect that we haven't heard the last of this. I got oh, a feeling. Oh, I'm sure we haven't. But uh, it's interesting that uh, 23 schools, Rapid City area, already. Uh, that's awesome. Flying it and going and rocking and rolling. In case you don't know, that U.S. model was established in 1956. Passage of a bill by then, President Dwight D. Eisenhower mm-hmm. signed that bad boy into law. So there you go. And that's still the U.S. motto. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. It's oh, yeah. on our yes. legal yeah, it's tender. On our tender, our currency. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very good. Yep. That's what it is. Love it. Well, love God it, do you love trust? It, love it. I mean, like for me, man, I go, I tried everything else. It just didn't work. It just didn't work. And <laughs> this one hasn't steered you wrong so far. So I get up every morning and look up and go, seriously? <laughs> 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 Okie dokie then. Let's do this. <laughs> Thank God he's forgiving. <laughs> All right. Thanks for no li- kidding. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Mr. Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3. Coming up, going to visit with Jeff Harding from Crescent Real Estate Group. And uh, we're one week away from giving away that big trip. So wow, we're gonna how tell exciting. You how to win. Yeah, going to tell you how to win tickets to see Aerosmith here in just a bit. Join us for a fun week in Punta Cana, Dominican Republic for the third annual 80s in the Sand. We've been there the last two years. In addition to making a bunch of awesome new friends, we had so much fun meeting 80s actors and musicians. 80s in the Sand takes over the entire resort, so you'll mingle with them at the pools and the restaurants too. We'd love to have you join us. See the amazing lineup featuring Sammy Hagar and many more at RadioTravelGroup.com. Save $200 per person for first-time guests at radiotravelgroup.com. Sunny 93.3, thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour. And we've got this uh, part of our bonus hour. We have Jeff Harding with Crescent Real Estate Group. And it's a little real estate report we do each week, a couple times a week. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How are you? Very good. I'm just thinking here, we are one week away from our big dream concert giveaway. Can you believe that it's almost time to do that? It, it's getting really exciting because, you know, we've always known that somebody's get lucky enough to win this contest and somebody is going to win it i mean when we put this together we spent some time talking about what would be the ultimate trip to win what band where would you want to see them and that's how we kind of came up with you know one of the most iconic rock bands of all time is aerosmith and they're doing a residency in las vegas and 
if you could go there and stay in some king suite hotel room at a fancy resort with a huge pool for three or four nights and be able to see Aerosmith while you're there and your airfare is paid for, I mean, I don't know how it would get any better than that. Yeah, it, it, unless you uh, like hit a jackpot while you're there too, but we can't we can't promise that, can we? <laughs> no, you, you, any of the gambling, any of the proceeds you win, you keep it all, but we're not responsible for any gambling debt you incur while you're there. So. Yeah, I think we should have a deal where if you win big, you split with <laughs> yeah. with your favorite realtor and radio guy, right? <laughs> well, we we should. I guess next time we'll figure that next time when we do because. You know, we'd like to think that we're going to do this a couple times a year. This is a big deal. We've been doing it for a few months, and um, but we're it's kind of all culminating right now. So next week, we're going to draw somebody, and they're going to win a trip for two, airfare, king suite at the Luxor, a block down the road from the Luxor at the MGM, Aerosmith performing, great tickets to their show. And uh, it's just something that... Um, if somebody gets to experience that and see Aerosmith and, and take that trip uh, to Vegas, I think it's something that's going to be pretty special. So. I think so as well. We're going to tell you how to register for that here in just a moment. But we talked on Tuesday a little bit about the app that you guys have here at Crescent Real Estate Group. Let's talk more about that and, and uh, let folks know why they should download this app. Yeah, well, it's a great app. You know, there's a lot of different things that it does. Most people that download it, they don't uh, really understand the depth of, that it will work for you if you're looking to buy a home. So, you know, the, the app's capable of a lot of different things. What I like to do is if somebody wants to put on their phone, they can give me a call or text me at 605-521-3000. I'll text them back the link to the app so that they can download it on their phone. And then what we usually do is I tell them, you know, take an hour and look at it, figure out how to navigate it. Um, you can set the parameters for what you're looking for in a home. Uh, you can say, well, I want two bedrooms or three bedrooms or five bedrooms, or I want a fenced-in yard, or I, I need it to have a triple garage, or you know, all these different things that you might envision in your next home, that your dream home. And what happens then is once those parameters are set and you've set your price range that you want to be in, every moment that a home like that comes on, the MLS system and is listed for sale, you immediately are notified, hey, a home you might, we recommend you look at this home, or here's a home that you might be interested in. Now, as you pull it up and look at it, what happens is, is I get a notification on my phone that you're looking at that home too. So as you're looking at it and looking at the description and saying, looking at the pictures, um, I'm immediately looking to see how long has it been listed on the market When's the next open house scheduled? Who do I, who's the realtor who has it listed that I would contact to schedule a showing in the event you want to see it? But I'm also looking at property disclosure. The seller filled out paperwork when they listed that home that dis disclosed anything that you would want to be aware of as far as has it ever had flood damage? Has it ever had hail damage on the roof? Has there ever been an insurance claim filed on it? So I'm going to look at that stuff too. Now, what will happen is, is if you save it as a favorite and you, and you call me and say, hey, Jeff, we found this home. We might want to look at it. I say, you know what? I already, I already know a lot of the answers to the questions you're going to ask me because I was doing my homework while you were doing yours. So it's just a great way to work in line step by step with a realtor so that as you find homes, they're helping you research the information on that home to decide if it's one you want to look at or not. And I can tell you from experience, when we bought our home with Jeff, uh, it's just a few months back, Heidi had downloaded that app. She was on there all the time, but that helped us find the right house and the right price range and the right neighborhood, all the things that we were looking for. And we made an offer and they accepted it and we bought it and uh, we absolutely love it. So I'm a big fan of this app. Yeah, I, I remember at like 4 a.m. my phone dinged and I looked and it said, Heidi Small is looking at this house. And right away she sent me a message says, I think I want to look at this house. And I said, well, can we wait till after breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And she said, yes. And, and you guys ended up buying it. So it worked real good for us. So. It did indeed. Now, if you'd like to get that app, once again, how do they get a hold of you, Jeff? 
uh, 605-521-3000. And we talked earlier about the Dream Concert Giveaway. It's Aerosmith in Las Vegas. Uh, airfare there and back. Not just there. Airfare there and back. Also a uh, nice place, uh, Luxor. You'll be staying there for a, a week. Uh, or uh, Not quite a full week. It's like four, four or five days. And then uh, the tickets to Aerosmith. All of that, if you'd like to win, you can do. Uh, you can register either through the Crescent Real Estate Group Facebook page, through the Sunny Radio Facebook page, or at Sunny Radio. Dot com. Jeff, thanks again, sir. You bet. Thank you. Real soon here, you're going to be having a chance to win. So if you haven't yet signed up, do it right now. SunnyRadio.com. Credit cards. They can be trouble. About 12 years ago, we did a debt snowball program and got rid of our credit cards. We were debt-free except for our house. It was awesome. But over the course of the next decade, our credit score went down. That sounds weird, but they need open accounts to give you a score. Our lower score made our insurance rates go up. We decided to get a credit card to help with that. We just pay it off every month. If you want a better credit card, check out BetterCreditCards.net. They help you compare all the different cards to get the best one for you. That's BetterCreditCards.net. Sunny 93.3, time now for Entertainment News of the Day with Mr. Dan Ferris. Can't stress enough. Celebrities are. I, I believe you a little less every time you tell me a story oh, about that. Oh, I'm so sincere about this. I, hang on one sec. Hey. Uh-huh. Keno, I'll have to call you back. <laughs> I'm going to be visiting with somebody tomorrow that I was in a movie with Keno Reeves. I'm going to ask I'm going to ask her about him. Ask everybody should be in a movie. Mentions you and so, on what, the set. What, my bud Keno? <laughs> yeah. My buddy? My pal? We have a I long, ask her about a long and storied friendship. I, I just hope the, the writers get it right when, when the time is when they do the book and then the movie. The book, the movie, it's, uh, you know, leave it to Lifetime, Lifetime Channel, which is kind of right up there with uh, Hallmark, although I'm always watching the game, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> it didn't take long. A movie depicting the infamous Operation Varsity Blues, the college admission scandal, is coming to the small screen. Oh, are you kidding Who's, who's playing uh, Lori Loughlin? Does Lori not Loughlin? say, but see, I think it would be hilarious if Lori <laughs> Loughlin... Both of them. If, if they did. Their, yeah. Yeah. She's always on those channels, isn't she? It would be ironic. This story comes from The Hollywood Reporter, which I don't subscribe to, but I know how to lift it for free. The project was announced last <laughs> Tuesday morning during the semi-annual meeting of the A&E Networks and one president, Rob Chernow. No actors have been cast yet. Script is in the works. The uh, title of the movie, which really is brilliant, uh, it's being called College Admission Scandal. <laughs> <laughs> I know! Wow, just hours and title? hours oh, no, of that's it. Uh, roundtable discussions there to it, come up with that. That's, that's it. And brilliant. it will indeed follow two wealthy moms who share an obsession with getting their little teenage angels into the best possible colleges. Are these moms actresses by chance? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing so, although there were a whole lot more people implicated and uh, paying fines and everything else. I'm, I'm guess just going to focus on uh, those two. On the two. Yep. Hmm. And I'm still really sad for those two because they were just trying to help their they kids. Okay, John, that's off. great, man. Here's a tissue. Move on. But I'm just saying, I feel bad that you know, oh. everything that landed on their shoulders when there were so many other people involved, too. You always go with the marquee, man. That's how it works. Yeah, I know. That's how it works. I just think it's wrong. It's it too bad. is wrong. If you want me to, <laughs> I can dig up dirt on all of them. <laughs> we, can, we can just do an ongoing miniseries. Nobody will care. Cause... And Phyllis Fregelmeyer. <laughs> <laughs> Ethel Lindquist. <laughs> You the offered an apple pie. <laughs> Their I'm kid on. could be the towel manager for the swim team. <laughs> I'm on your lawn if you let Skippy in. This is showbiz, John. Just right. go with it. Right. Well, Dan, thank you again for that fantastic report. Sorry I let you down, John. <laughs> no, 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 you didn't let me down at all. You're going to have an award on that empty shelf over there eventually. You <laughs> never <laughs> wait and see. I'm a rebel. It's going to happen. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris on Sunny 93.3.